long period in that second half? You look like more likely side to win um, I thought we looked more likely for about 70 80 minutes of the game. Um, I thought we were different class, limit them to very little in the first half. And I think we were the better side for 70 minutes. But overall, I think uh, fitness and fitness takes more than the last 20 minutes. They've obviously got a really big squad, they brought in a lot of players, three players that were big, strong, athletic. I think the game changed slightly after that. But uh, for 70 minutes of the game, I thought we were excellent. First defeat in a long while since October. Is it about how you bounce back from that? Now? It is. It's, it's, like I said, it's our first defeat in 15 games, so it's about how we bounce back next week in the, the league. It's a big game against Morton, but the guys walk away from it today with a lot of credit. You know, we took the game at Falkirk. To go down a goal down after 11 minutes and respond and play the way we did is, uh, is a credit to them. And uh, we certainly never come here and park the bus. We come and have a go. We're attack minded and uh, you know, we're very unfortunate to be walking away with a draw at least. Peter's also said he's just watched five times, really, which shows a great respect for what you're, you and your players are doing. Yeah, well, that's great because we watched them three three or four times and uh, we know how they played and I think we stopped them building any momentum in the game today. They tried to play out from the back into midfield, we nullified that, we, we channeled them very well and that allowed us a great platform to go forward and create problems. So, you know, a lot of credit to my team today. They, they, they worked to a structure fantastically. And like I said, I think it was only to about the 75th minute when the game started. Yeah. Fitness, the game got stretched. and we were attacking, we couldn't get back behind the ball as quickly as we'd like. And uh, but that comes down to a full-time club against a part-time club. And, you know, we've only got 14, 15 players, you know. And we don't have light for light in every position. So, you know, it was a challenge to try and keep that game compact in the last 15 minutes. So, but again, as I said, really delighted with the team. Most as well shows if you do get up this season or it gives them a, a chance that they'll get nothing to fear. Definitely. Up, you know? Um, you know, my chairman standing behind me there, so if we do get up this year, we'll need, need to strengthen the squad and a bigger squad. Uh, but no, listen, I said to the guys before the game, we've watched them against Hearts, I thought they were fantastic against Hearts. We had them watch against Dumba uh, Dumbarton last week, we've had them watch previous to that. Um, we knew they were a decent side, you know, a very, very comfortable side on the ball. Well, we've done our homework, it paid off today, but it never paid off uh, ultimately with a, a decent result. So, uh, but again, I'm very, very pleased with the guys. So, so they've got to have a lot of heart. They played played all heart today. Definitely. Heart, skill, determination, and uh, discipline. Tactically, they were great. So I've no complaints, just disappointed with the result. How do you think that experience from today will set them up for the rest of our season? Well, hopefully it's a positive effect on them. You know, some things can get a bit disappointed when they put so much effort into a game like that. But I'm pretty sure that'll have a positive effect from the end of the season. Thank okay, guys. Thank Cheers. Thank you. Thank you. Tough cut. Hi, Peter. Eh? Nothing less than what we expected, John. Um, I felt that it was a tough cup tie. And we've actually got through the cup tie without playing anywhere near the standards that we can play. At. You know, we had some big players for us today that. You know, was wanting time in the ball, and credit to Breakin. Breakin came and got in about us and didn't give us time in the ball. And our big players who are normally good in the ball um, were caught in that a few times. And, and as I say, rather than discredit my players, I've got to give credit for the way that Breakin came and, and they, they, they worked us hard for the day. I felt we, we shaded the game, if I'm being perfectly honest. We've hit the crossbar with Taylor Morgan's header. We've had a couple of other chances, and it was nice to see a, a fantastic run for Rory Lloyd. Uh, culminating in a, in a finish at the back post for David Smith, you know. So it was one of these games today where we're breaking on a tremendous run. We're on a very, very good run as well. And although we have won the match, there was many ways that a lot of people wouldn't have, you know, maybe thought a shot would, would happen here. And it, it was a tough game, but overall, I think we just shaded it. Rory maybe had one of his quieter games, but it just showed you towards the end what yeah. he can bring to it. Uh, the funny thing was, you're, you're right what you say because I thought our front two kicked in when they equalised and got the penalty kick, you know. Um, they started to, to, to do things sharper, quicker. I don't know the reason for that, why we weren't doing it before it. But they, um, you know, Sybil, who's been a big player for us this season, got caught in the ball a few times. Blair Olsen was quiet. But Rory kicked in at the right time, made a tremendous run. I don't know how many players he beat. And then, as I say, David Smith went in the back post there and knocks it into the net. You know, so, as I say, a tough, tough match. The big thing for me and the most important thing, I know it's an old cliche, is making sure that you're in the heart for the next round. And that was the big thing for me today is that do they want to go back to Glebe Park? Because I've seen Breakin and we've watched Breakin and we'll give them a lot of respect. And we, we, we did do a, a few video sessions and the style of play. And they're known a, a run like they are for nothing. They, they, they're on that kind of run because they're a good team and they've got some good players. Well, the big thing for me today was 
we are playing a, a team from a, a, a lower division. And one of the things that I've always learned through my manager career is trying to give as much information to my players about the opposition because it's not as if, if it was Allo or Cowden Beath or Hearts we were playing here, we know the players, we know the systems they play, but when you're playing against a team, uh, we'd, we'd, we'd break and watch about five times, including I, I seen the game against Dan in the replay, but since then we've had a lot of video footage, and, and that's you have to do your homework teams like that, you, you have to show them the respect they deserve, and as I say, Breakin will be disappointed that they never got us back to Glebe Park. Cam Smith handled the ball in the first half. Yeah, I did. I, asked, I went into the referees, but he says, I went into the referees uh, when he came in the tunnel because I know he'd fell out with me. Um, I thought a couple of decisions didn't go our way today. So I went in and spoke to the referee about um, the handball, uh, whether he meant or not. It did, ha it did stop the ball moving forward, and at least it should have been maybe as a foul for us. I don't want people sent off for that. You know, I think that's a. You know, it's, he, he didn't, if he didn't mean it, he still handled the ball, and it did stop the ball going in an area where Taylor Morgan might have scored the goal. So it should have been a foul for us. No, no, I wouldn't have wanted a, a red card for that. I don't think you know, we see too many of these decisions and goalkeepers and defenders sent off for the wrong reasons. It, it would have spoiled the game, maybe. Uh, but I certainly wanted a foul for him. Okay, okay guys. Right,